yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard, you thieving mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh, all wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's going to turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <sighs> Fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Hush your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. This is what happens when you poke your nose. Elf Bedford and Wales. Well, Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. This is turning into a hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, he always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who would steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing and ask for that French bastard. He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish? I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bent slugs who think they're snakes. Yeah! You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Mr. 